No matter to what extent you've mobilized your business, at Peak Risex, we believe your enterprise mobility solution should add value throughout the whole length of its life cycle. To ensure this is the case, we've created a unique set of services to guide our customers through every stage of a mobility solution, whether it be strategy creation or application selection, through to managed services and data analytics. We call this the five phases of mobility. During this series of videos, our experts will take a deep dive into every phase, providing valuable insight, allowing you to sidestep some of the more common pitfalls and maximising your return on investment. The manage phase is all about ensuring uptime for your mobile solution. The potential impact for device failure on your business um, could mean, depending on the way you operate your business, um, loss of money. If you were to employ self-employed delivery drivers, it could be that you pay them on a per parcel basis. Therefore, 75 minutes downtime, which is the average per outage, would actually mean an awful lot of money lost for that person and potentially for your business. Device downtime can have an impact on your total cost of ownership. Upfront, you may not consider that there is a cost impact on having outages, but actually there is. Also, when we're looking at total cost of ownership, we need to think about other um, softer areas that are going to cost you money, such as training. So um, that does need to be considered really upfront, that people need to be using the devices properly. One of the benefits of the management information that we can provide um, to our customers is um, really the detail about how the devices are being used um, and what they're being used for. So we're able to provide information so that you can actually make real decisions about where you want to target things such as training. So rather than going back and training a whole group of people, for instance, you might look at that data and decide, okay, well only actually users in a certain area having that issue so you target the training appropriately. There are a few options available um, for providing support to a technical team. Um, you may well decide that you have a technical team already set up that are specialists and you take that work on yourself or it could be that you decide to use a managed service provider to take away some of that pain for you um, and to do that element. So you'd use specialists um, and allow your team to concentrate on, on what they do every day. The beauty of having a second line support team behind you is that you have a second level of expertise. So your help desk may be very good at their day-to-day -day focus on what you have going on in your business, whereas that second line of support can actually look at the issue one step further and actually drill down and take away the, a lot of the worry with a, with a more technical issue. Um, plus, of course, having the backup of maybe the OEM behind as well for further help and assistance. Mobile device management enables a help desk to connect remotely to devices. This will allow them to fault find, um, fact find, and in a lot of instances actually fix any problems or issues that the device has. The device isn't down, the end user can still be working and there's no impact um, on the business at all.